question first. Um, the petitioner, um, is Mr. Highland available? Chair, Mr. Highland has a representative here, Yvonne Leiser. If I, if I could ask our counsel, uh, is that uh, problematic? I mean, I mean, I don't know if this person's an attorney. Uh, um, if I may, you're not required to be uh, an attorney um, to represent a party in a um, administrative proceeding. In other words, Mr. Highland. Uh, well, here's my concern: is uh, um, we don't have Mr. Highland here to tell us that he's right. being represented by someone. Um, not that I'm, I'm casting aspersions on this uh, person's ability to represent Mr. Highland. As you said, this is the letter from Landrick Highland dated October 28th that the board has. Dear board members, I wish to file a petition with the board to request a formal advisory opinion as to the following question. Did former mayor William Billy Kanoy violate Hawaii County Code 2-83A1 and 2-83 before during his tenure in office. I make the request for a formal opinion pursuant to 2-87 since his ability to comply with 2-86 is informal opinion. The officer shall comply with the informal advisory opinion issued by the board. Will become impossible upon Mayor Kim's being sworn into office in early December. I am asking for a formal opinion, including findings of fact and conclusions of law, following the process set forth in 2-87B and C. I file this petition pursuant to Hawaii County Code Section 2-91.2, Section F. The Board of Ethics is hereby empowered to receive petitions from and render informal and formal advisory opinions to any, more, any member of the public concerning the conduct of a former officer or employee. The board may initiate an investigation to determine whether the conduct of a former officer or employee is in violation of this section. The specific sections of Article 15, Code of Ethics, I accuse them of violating are Section 2-83, Fair Treatment. Officers, employees of the county, while discharging their duties and dealing with the public, shall adhere to the following precepts. All public property and equipment are to be treated as a public trust and are not to be used in a proprietary manner or for personal purposes <clears throat> without proper consent. Excuse me. And then section 2-83B4, no officer or employee shall use or attempt to use the officer's or employee's official position to secure or grant unwarranted privileges, exemptions, advantages, contracts, or treatment for oneself or others, including but not limited to the following, using county property, facilities, equipment, time, or personnel for private business, campaign purposes, or for any purpose other than for a public purpose. As initial details for the board to contemplate while it considers whether or not to exercise its discretion under 2-87A, I incorporate herein by reference my petition number 2015-03, addendum one and addendum two, thereto dated April 7th, 2015, the testimony of Landrick Highland dated 5-13-15 and my letter to the board dated March 5th, 2016. That plus any other facts the board sees fit to consider is the record which the board may use as a basis for the exercise of its discretion. In my testimony of Landrick Highland, I have quoted a couple of HRS statutes. I respectfully suggest you consider the wording of those statutes not as laws, but as descriptions of behavior, the violation of which would be unethical. Then, if by a preponderance of the evidence you find that he has in fact committed behavior which violated that behavior, you would have an objective basis for finding his behavior unethical. 
I look forward to learning at the November 2016 meeting whether or not the board accepts this position. Hopefully yours, signed, Landrick Highland. Thank you. Thank you very much.